This is how you adjust your throttle positioning sensor on your 89 through 91 Series 5 RX-7 motor. So you will be checking the low range TPS and the high range. Um, the screws that you're going to be messing with are the adjuster screw down here and sometimes the other idle adjuster screw up here. Even though the book doesn't mention it, you got to mess with it. So, to make life easier, you will want to make a intercooler pipe that connects from the intake over to the turbo. That way you could fully warm up your motor and not have the intercooler in the way. So once you have your uh, temporary pipe in the way, or hooked up, uh, you want to get the sensor uh, plug loose and you want to be connecting your fluke to the green and red wire on the bottom the black and red wire on top now with your meter hooked up to the green wire with the red stripe and the black wire with the red stripe that will be on the top and bottom right side of the plug you want to get a voltage reading of 0.1 or something damn close to it with the key on. So according to the book, you should have 0.1 voltage and close to 5 volts, anywhere from 4.5 to 5 volts when the throttle is fully kicked in. So you do this after the motor's warmed up. You can do it while the motor's running. I like to do it with the motor running. That's why I made this intercooler pipe to bypass the intercooler completely. So then that's how you check the low range TPS. Now to check the uh, high range TPS sensor, you need to connect to the yellow wire, bottom left. Once you get your meter hooked up to the yellow wire, bottom left, and the blue wire, middle top, get a reading about 0.8 volts. And then under full throttle, should be close to 4 volts, anywhere from 3.5 to 4 volts, so the book says. This is, you know, after the motor's fully warmed up. And if you need to adjust anything, once again, you got a throttle school screw right next to the sensors. And then an idle screw up here where the coolant uh, preheater hose for the throttle body is. Now you can play with both of those. And you will hear the idle of the car change from erratic to pretty smooth.